What's up Marvel fans, this is Dan96 and um, today I'm just bringing up some um, new, some info of what's been going on for quite, for um, only for a couple of days now. I mean, we've had that announcement about the um, the nine films we're getting and um, as I say, um, that's pretty good. We, um, we're getting nine films for the um, after Ant-Man and that's really good really. Like, because we're getting that Captain America, we're getting like Captain America, the third one. And then we're getting the Avengers and all that other films. I'm looking forward to that. Now I want to, today's news. I want to bring up what's been what's been popping up since after that announcement came out. Now, first one I want to start off. Um, if you remember at, about because we got this film Ant Man coming out, and they in the past when it was announced, they said he was going to be the beginning of Phase Three. But now the news is saying is Ant Man won't be the beginning of Phase Three. He will be the Ant Man is going to be the one to finish off Phase Two. And I thought. I, I thought um, I thought it would be good to start off phase three, but don't want to finish it off of phase two. But I, I wanted the Avengers: Age of Ultron to finish it, but maybe maybe there's a reason why they did it. But maybe maybe the um, Ant Man has got something special going to happen in the film. Maybe that's why it's going to finish off phase two. Like Ant Man might finish phase two off something special, you know. And maybe they thought they might want to put the Civil War as a start of phase three. I mean, maybe that's maybe that's the other reason why they did it, and um, that's that one I wanted to bring up. Um, now, other parts of the news I want to bring up is about the um, the two Marvel films we're getting. Is that we got the Captain America: Civil War, and then we got the um, the Avengers: Infinity War Part One and Part Two. One I want to ask about is the um, can he work in the cinematic universe? And I think we it might work. I think that we can, it might work in the cinematic universe, because I've already thought of a plot of how this could work, you know, how the two wars are going to fit in the cinematic universe, why? Because they've gave, they've, they've given us some information what the Civil War, the, the information they gave out is the, um, what's the difference going to be from the comics. What they're doing is, because in the comics it was the, um, when you had all the superheroes, it was the, um, they, they were asking all the heroes to sign, you know, to, to work with the government, you know, where they say identities and all that. But from the movie version, Kevin, Far Kevin Foggy said uh, it's different. The difference is going to be is, um, they will be the same, you know, like the heroes without the sign up. But because already some of our some of the heroes we've seen, they've already, some of the, some of the um, people might already know, know their identities. Sorry. <clears throat> they already know their identities. So that's the, di the difference is... It's only just going to be like a signing thing. Is that you? You sign this, and you 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 will work for us. That's well. That's what the difference is going to be. It's not all about secret identities in this new in this Civil War one because they because some people already know the identities. Some of the heroes mean oh identities they do. <laughs> and um, what else was I? And I go and um, also because you got Black Panther now. I think Black Panther is going to be the replacement of Spider Man for the Civil War because. In the Civil War, the comic book, you had Spider-Man as the main thing because he released his identity and he showed the whole world he was Peter Parker. But then I heard like later on, I think he joined Captain America, so he was really on both sides. Now I could see that Black Panther, they kind of try to do the same thing because if we don't have, you know, the whites, uh, you know, if we don't have Spider-Man back in our cinema, you know, in the cinematic universe, then it's a good idea we could just have Black Panther to kind of like replace him. As I, I've spoke, I've already spoke about that kind of one in my last video, well. but I just wanted to say more about it. Like it could work like that way. Also, in the plot, I'll say like it could work like um, when it comes to like nearly to the end, like all the heroes would just be fighting one another, and and this is when the civil war comes into it. I could say like I could. This is the theory how the, these two will work. You'll have all the heroes fighting each other because. One thing is, the one thing they'll lose focus on is keeping on activities, you know, for aliens coming to Earth. Maybe that's what they'll, um, maybe that's, uh, you know, why the um, Thanos comes to Earth and maybe invades them. That's what I've got a feeling. I've got a feeling is, the heroes fight one another, as I said, and they lose focus, you know, they all, they don't bother to keep an eye on the sky, you know, to make sure there's no, uh, uh, no aliens coming down to Earth for the evade, for, you know, to evade. And then, when it comes to the Civil War, they'll be already too late to, you know, to f figure out that Thanos is already here. I mean, they'll see when his ship comes down, but, you know what I mean, it'll be too late for them to check it early, you know, to see his ship come, you know, ship uh, just five minutes away to Earth. That's what I've got a feeling, because 
They'll, they won't bother to check out activities. They'll just be fighting one another. They won't. They'll go like, oh, we're not gonna bother. We're not gonna bother to look at the satellite. Bit, you know that satellite things or that. You know, you know to check. You know to see if there's any alien ships or something coming back coming to Earth. They'll go like, oh, we're not gonna bother. We're we're in the middle of fighting some heroes. That's what I think. Maybe that's maybe this is how it will work. Then when it comes to the Infinity War, they'll be like, oh, what have we done? We've been fighting one another. We wasn't. We wasn't. You know. Keep an eye on the sky, and that's how maybe that's how he could work, you know. And then when he found us, somehow like got a you know a mini camera, mini drone thing, and he sent it to Earth to see what was going on. Maybe that's when he when he sees that he'll go like, "This is my opportunity to attack Earth with a surprise attack." And maybe that's how it'll work. He'll give him like a surprise attack, you know, when the heroes didn't expect it. Maybe that's how the that's my theory is how it could work. If we got if um. If you got your own thoughts about that one, you know how the how these two are going to work in the cinematic universe. Leave a comment below on that. Leave a comment on that one. Right now, this is the biggest one I want to give out now. This Ness news. Now, for a while since after the Avengers came out, the first ever one, the Avengers Assemble, when look because when Loki returned into the returned to the uh, to a normal Marvel film, and I think he was a good choice for the Venom. We all we he had a staff with him and. Um, and there was some, you know, some um, people saying, uh, you know, oh, Loki staff is a Infinity Stone, but he was never confirmed. But people could keep saying that he was a Infinity Stone and all that. Now, if you've seen my um, in Guardians of the Galaxy, um, you know, spot it with you, and when I was talking about the um, the Infinity Stones and the Goblet, I mentioned about the um, one of the um, one of the stones could be in the um, staff, and from that one, I had one. One comment on that one saying about it's not it's the Infinity Stones not in the staff and all that. Well, here's the news I want to say. Kevin Foggy has confirmed that there is an Infinity Stone in the staff. So I gotta say, yes. And I want to I want to say to to those people who kept saying that uh, oh it's not it's not an Infinity Stone. But I'm gonna say it it is an Infinity Stone now. I was right all along. I mean I knew it from the start and. For some of you people who uh, keep saying, "Oh, it's not, it's not an Infinity Stone," it was obvious it was a stone. You saw what it did, you know. You know, I explained it before on this video. Well, I f I'm trying to remember if I did, but if I haven't, I'll say it again. It was obvious it's a stone because the staff, the staff put people in mind control, and what's the only f gem or you know Infinity Stone could do that? The Mind Stone. Well, in the comics, it's the Mind Gem, but it's Marvel. That it's the Marvel movies. They call them stones, but anyway. I was white from the start. I I knew it was gonna be a stone. It was obvious really. It was obvious what it did. But and so many other people, they they were white as well, so I'm happy for those people who kept saying it's an Infinity Stone. And that's what I'm happy about. Now it's now I also want to thought about that. It's now we want to know is what colour is it? Because because uh, you got two blues from I me, mean, you got the Tesseract, that's blue. Look, and you got the, and then you got Loki's staff now, and that that he's got a blue color in the, but around the the circle, the circle thing. So I'm trying to figure out what which one of them has the blue. And I thought maybe the space stone will have the blue, and and the um the mind stone. Well, I don't know what color they would choose for that one, but that's what I can think. And I mean, it would it would have not made sense if two of them had blue, because in the guise of the galaxy film. We've already seen what the stones look like. We've seen they've got the same six colours, but I'm just trying to figure out which one of them has the blue. I mean, I've got a feeling the Mind Stone won't have the blue because they're mumbling all the um, powers around. I mean, as I said before, same six colours, same six powers, but mumbling around. So my theory is the the Tesseract, must, the, the Space Stone, has to be the blue colour. Now for the Mind... I don't know what colour they're going with, but we were just out of the way till um, when when someone breaks that staff, breaks that staff, and you know breaks that kind of like a circle thing, you know that blue circle on the staff. Until someone breaks that, then we'll fi then then we'll it'll reveal what colour it is. And that's all I want to say, really. So um, I hope you enjoy this. Um, I hope you enjoy this. And I hope you enjoy the news I gave you. And uh, if you're new, if you new to watching me, I what I do is I do Marvel news, I do Transformers and film reviews. Like it's based on Marvel, and all that. 
So if you got so if you got any any you want to say in this any you want to say, just leave a comment below and and subscribe to me, and I'll see you again soon. Peace.